As the 2016 season gets into full swing, quickly into his stride is Rafa Cabrera Bayo. After two weeks indulging his passion for surfing in Bali and a great start to the season, we caught up with a Spanish star to find out about his transition from surfboard to golf clubs. I think it's a combination of uh, having learned from past experiences throughout last year, uh, good uh, rest over, over the, the winter break and uh, some uh, good preparation uh, early January uh, for the uh, Middle East thing. A top 15 in Abu Dhabi was followed by two second place finishes in Qatar and Dubai. So whatever he's doing, Rafa appears to be doing it right. I really like uh, playing there. I really enjoy it. I like playing. Uh, I'm a short sleeve guy. Uh, reminds me a little bit of home, the Canaries where I'm from. Uh, some sand, some palm trees, uh, bright sun, a bit of breeze. So I, I, do, I do really feel comfortable. The golf courses I love, uh, they're in great shape. Uh, so it's just all, all positive, really. Breaking down that desert swing, Rafa got his European Tour season off to a nice start at the Abu Dhabi HSBC Golf Championship. I played uh, really solid in Abu Dhabi. Was uh, I mean, a bit disappointed uh, that I dropped out of the top 10 on, on the last day, but I, I was still very pleased with my game. It's always the first week out, you don't know really what to expect. I had been eight weeks without competing. Obviously, I had practice and, and gotten ready for it, but uh, it was the first week out, you didn't know, and I was uh, really pleased uh, with how, how good my game uh, felt that week. Yeah. Next, it was on to the Qatar Masters, where he finished in the top three for the third time in six years at Doha. I mean, it had been a, a good week. I really wanted uh, the not-so-great finish on on Sunday from last week, I didn't want that to to uh, let let my my game go down. I, I was feeling really good. I was playing solid. Uh, it was because it's a Wednesday start. It was like really not much of a break, so I was really trying to to stay focused for it and uh, started st started good. And I just really wanted to keep the the momentum going. And he did just that, leading at the halfway stage of the Emirates Golf Club in Dubai, where he'd won the title back in 2012. Uh, yeah, it was nice that the game was still good. I mean, I was feeling excited because I had uh, played good. I had obviously won in Dubai before. I, I felt that I could do it again, and uh, I was just trying trying to keep myself in, in the position of giving myself the, the chance coming out the, the last few holes. And, I, I mean, I was trailing from a little, little behind, but in the end, I, I, I was very close to, to making the playoffs. So I, I, I mean, obviously, feel, feel very proud about it. Any disappointment in not winning? It wasn't frustrating uh, as much that I had uh, really felt that I had done uh, all I could. I mean, I, I birdied the last two holes. I gave myself a really, really good birdie chance on 16 as well. I hit a great putt on for Eagle on 18 that I, at some stage, like six or eight feet short of the putt, I really thought uh, I had I had uh, hold it. And then I, I mean, it, it was uh, it wasn't really disappointed. I did everything I could. Danny played great. He started off uh, stronger throughout the throughout the day. He he played a, he he rolled a really good putt in for birdie and uh, well deserved win for him. I mean, I, I did my best, I played good golf, and uh, I know if I do that and I put myself in that position, I will be uh, lifting trophies soon. Fifth in the early season race to Dubai, it looks like another big season ahead for Rafa and hopefully another title or two as well.